Hi, today I'm going to be putting this TNC connector onto this LMR240 cable. So the first thing you want to do is get a nice clean cut. And you don't want to smash the cable. Okay, at this point it's a good time to put on this metal coupler. And it's also not a bad time to put your pin into your crimping tool because these are easy to lose. We're going to be using the 0 0.068 crimping uh, die. <clears throat> uh, now I'm ready to strip the cable using my Pro's Kit stripper. This has been adjusted for this cable. And sometimes the jacket likes to stick, but you can just pry that off. All right, uh, now we're ready to cut the center conductor. It's pretty beefy on this cable. And I'll cut it about five millimeters, which is about right here. And next you're gonna want to peel back the braid here and if a bunch of these start coming off in your fingers that means your cutter is probably cutting too deep so you need to maybe back that off a little bit <clears throat> now with other cables this is where you'd want to check that the foil is not touching the center conductor at all but the foil on this kind of cable is basically glued to the ins insulation so it's really hard to peel off. So if it looks clean, uh, this brand comes with a nice little spacer that you put in to make sure that you keep your pin away from your foil shielding. <clears throat> so now we're ready to crimp. I'm gonna use the 0 0.068 crimping die. Get the everything nice and tight. Looks good. Now I'm going to put on the actual connector. This is a TNC connector and it should click. Okay, clicked in. Now we're ready to bring this coupler back up and you'll see these uh, sh shielding, the braided shielding is a little bit too long. So we're going to go ahead and trim that just a little bit. Not too much since this is what holds everything together. and also because you need it to have a cable that with continuity on the shielding. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to use the 0.255 crimping die to crimp this. And one more for the back. You're not supposedly not supposed to crimp it twice, but I always do. Uh, looks nice and tight. If you're going to put this outside or if it's going to get any movement to it, you might want to throw on the heat shrink. This is a 3 8 heat shrink. I'll use my Milwaukee heat gun. And once it gets heated up, you'll start to see the adhesive come out. And you'll know that it's gotten a good, gotten heated up enough. Wow, it's hot. So you can see the glue, glue is starting to come out here. That means it's pretty good. You need to let that cool down a little bit. We can go ahead and strip the other side to check this cable for continuity. Go ahead and put this into my tester. Oh wow, it's too big to fit in the tester. All right, do it this way. All right, so we're going to check the cable. And we should get a good tone on the center conductor. And we should get nothing on the outside of the cable. 
and it looks good.